Today we're going to talk about the 60 Tri Plus Fine Liners from Statler. I'm super excited for these. They come in some super great colors. We're going to swatch them. We're going to sort them. Well, kind of. We're going to sort them the same way they were in the box, but we're going to find the hidden secret. So when I started this video, I didn't know that the number was actually on the pen and I figured that out about halfway through but it's really hard to see so you might not be able to see it in the video easily but it's at the very edge of the pen so you don't want to mess miss it because you'll be able to get the color names for all of your tri press fine liners you'll be set because you'll have all the names and all the colors and it'll be awesome and so we're gonna swatch them we're gonna name them and we're gonna see how great these are. I love these Tri Plus Fine Liners. They're so great for drawing, they're so great for journaling, for anything that you wanna do. And if I have this bandit on my face, you might ask why. <laughs> I had something done earlier this week at the dermatologist. I'm hoping it's better by next week when I do the video, but just bear with me for that. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crayon Collection. I hope you guys find the coolest art supplies for whatever project you're doing. So make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you never miss a video because I like to do colored pencils, crayons, um, markers, pens, you name it. So you guys know what the coolest art supplies out there. And this one today is one of those confusing ones where it comes in a very different number of sets. It can come in like 12, 20, 40 or whatever some random numbers and you never know what's the complete set so today we're gonna go through the complete set and I think this one was like 30 or 40 on like Amazon or Target so you'll definitely want to hit that I'll leave the link below to buy these all right let's get this video started here is the box of the 60 tri plus fine liners so these are really good for drawing or doing artwork like line art which is really cool they're 0.3 millimeters and on the back it says super fine metal clad tip, dry safe, so it can be left uncapped without drying. And then water based ink colors except neon colors. And on the back, they're made in Germany. They're mix and match. So there's other products from them. And on the back, it has the numbers right here. These are in order of how they are packaged so what we are going to do they're not labeled they'll come in here and we'll label them as we go so that way you'll always know what color is which and then we have the swatch chart that we're going to do today and that will also help to know which colors are which because you'll have the swatches i'm going to use my trusty dusty sharpie right here to do that to label but it's su super important when you have supplies that are not labeled to be able to label them. All right, let's start with this pack. This is like oranges and reds. I'll show you on here. We got 23, 29, 28, 260, 60, 69. You can see how that goes along with those colors. The color on the cap isn't the same as what's the color of the actual marker, and it's not the same color that's on the back here. There's some, that's usually typical. So I'm gonna show you, I did all of these. Oh, they were the first ones I did. I did them over here, so it'll be easy to match those up if they're not in the exact order. So I'll just keep that over here. You could also do this, but you can do, this swatch chart that I have. Right. So I'm gonna start with 23. If you look at the marker here, or the pen, you see Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner Dry Safe. That's it. There's no indication. There's a 023. Oh, there we go. Hey, I didn't even realize that right there. So there is already a mark, so we don't have to end up marking these, which is great. This is like the secret mark on here. Let's see, yeah. A secret mark. Yeah, so I'm sure this one will have the... That is very... <laughs> it's nice that they're on here so we don't have to label it, but I would have never noticed that because it's... Why didn't they just put it in the same ink color as everything else? 
that's really cool. It's like this hidden gem. <laughs> so now we know our colors. We don't have to, uh, we don't have to label them because they're on there. So I'm just going to draw a square and then I'm going to do lines and another line. I like to do that with my fine liners just so I can see how it writes and how it fills in. I'm so excited. I would have maybe done this video a little, I would have maybe made this chart a little different because I wanted to make sure like I got all of these in the right order and I labeled them. <laughs> now that I know that, because the, the way they are in the box is kind of random. Maybe I'll do another video uh, that shows that like, this color looks really close to that color. But they dry a little bit, like a lot of mark. Sorry, I these seem like markers to me, but they're pens. I feel like they're a cross between the two. But they're gonna dry a little bit lighter, probably, than what they go down, just because the ink can take some time to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna get these all out. It's like, it made my day. So I'm just gonna double check before I do all these that it is actually the correct color. But what was not on the back of the box, and that's why I like this chart, is I put the color name. I went, I think I went on their website and I found out the color name. find out the color name. Pretty colors. These are so pretty. I feel like if you want a fine liner to do work and you want some beautiful colors, these are available in 60 colors. It really... And these aren't terribly expensive. I got them at, I believe I got them at Target. They also sell them on Amazon. I can't remember exactly what I paid for them. 69, yep, that's what it says there. That's so cool. I was like, oh, it won't be on the marker. I didn't see it there the first time I tried to do this. That's so funny. For those of you that have used these before, you probably know that, 006. You're like, oh yeah, of course. They have a zero in front, which is interesting because oh, they do have 110 and 101 and a 221. So it makes me wonder like why the random nature of the 061. It says L plus eight. I don't know if this one says anything. A plus nine. I have no idea what that means. Who knows? It's like. Random, random. Is this the right one? 61, yeah. Red or violet. What a pretty color. So you have a lot of color choices. And like I said, I wouldn't necessarily put these in this order. But, oh, this one says 020. Okay. I wonder. Oh, there's a 20. Huh. Oh, this one's magenta then down here. Definitely not the red. That doesn't look very magenta-y to me. It's more like hot pink. Oh, this one does say neon on it, so you know that it is definitely the neon. 221. And their neon is not water-based. I wonder if it glows in the dark. That'd be interesting. To know. <laughs> okay, this one is probably going back up to our two. Yep. Looks like they got kind of out of order. So it is good that they're on there. That makes it like super easy. <laughs> I'm like super happy now. Because 
that is the, one of the biggest things when you're dealing with anything that any colors, especially when you have a lot of colors, you want to be able to kind of know what you're putting down. You want to be able to replicate it. Or if you have touch-ups, you want to be able to go back, but you don't want to be like, oh, I don't know which one I was using. But if you know the name and the number, it's like a lot easier to, to do. And the color that comes down with it. Two, zero, one. Neon red. Okay. That looks like a neon orange to me. I'm sorry. I would call. They do have a neon orange. So I'm not exactly sure. Wait. Neon orange here. Neon orange here. I'm going to have gotten that wrong somehow. Oh, this, this one's supposed to be neon yellow. So I will make sure that I correct that when I send this out to you guys. 401 neon orange. Let's see. I guess I want to. This one is orange, that one's red. When you compare the two side by side. So we have our first row done. You can make sure it goes down the right one. This is light orange right here. Proper name for that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take this all out like I did the last ones. one is light yellow. Neon. So this is neon yellow. We'll just correct this really fast right here. There we go. Like I said, I will update that when you guys, um, so I'll leave a link below for you to get the chart if you want this chart. It'll be nice because even though they have the numbers on them, they don't have the exact names. So if you want those names, it'd be nice to have this little chart or you can make your own. I like having both because it's an obsessive compulsive nature. <laughs> this. This one's neon green. 501, so that is super interesting. I don't know why they named it that way. Do you guys have these? Do you use them for... I'm trying to see if it's on the cap too. It just made it says made in Germany. 52. I wish Sharpie did something like that. They don't even have. I mean, maybe they do. We just have never noticed. No. They just. I wonder if it's up here. Nope. There's nothing that indicates. What color that is. Like, yeah, look for those hidden details sometimes. Looks like it's just the marker barrel is probably with those. It's like all the same, and then they just add the cap and the tip. Okay, so next we've got 005. Which is green. It's kind of a dark green. It's pretty. And we've got sea green. And then we've got Zero thirty four Aqua Blue Okay. Then we've got is it three zero one?
Is this supposed to be 80? Let's see. No, it says 30. Oh, that one does say 30. My eyes are deceiving me today. It's Saturday again. I said I was gonna do this during the week. I actually created this during the week. I'm filming today. I keep telling myself not to do that, 37, but then I keep doing it, filming. Saturdays. I'm like, I need to stop. <laughs> I did have a busy week this week, though. Three. Lots of driving everywhere. I'm trying to, like, have a lot funner summer than before than last year. So that's been nice. Hey, this one is 14. Oh. Down here. I'm going to start at the bottom now. See, I would have incorporated these ones. This must be like a certain set right here. These are all very similar. Vanilla. But how cool would these two look together? These, There's some really good complementary colors here. 550. That is interesting. Why the random 500 number? I don't know. 54. Look at how much different that one is than that one. All right, this one is 63. I like that one. It's like a, almost a gray. Zero sixty two. Are you guys enjoying summer? It's been nice here. Twenty one. Two twenty two. Oh, 26. That one is, it's hard for, probably for you to see them. Because it's hard for me to see them. That one was almost not quite stamped in all the way. I think it's inspirational for other companies. 450. Wait, I just did 450. This one's already been done. Okay, Dove Gray. And I see that I have spelled gray wrong there. Well, I spelled it right for me. These are German, so I will change that to an E-Y for you guys. I love how this is like, <laughs> my YouTube video is my uh, check for when I give them to you guys. <laughs> oh, I did that wrong, I did that wrong, I'll fix it. <laughs> that way, I'm the one that did it first, and I don't get emails saying, hey, you spelled this wrong. Yeah, I do that from time to time. I did find out, I make these in Excel. I did find out how to spell check in Excel. So that's good. All right, 
So this is definitely a different palette than this one. So it looks like these almost go together. And then I don't know about this one like that has the browns in it and I don't know why they just didn't put the yellows with the yellows, which I don't understand. All right, one is yellow. This looks like a golden yellow, a bright yellow. have information on this on my website if not today I'll make sure I get it up I'm getting a little behind trying to get those posts up but I will get them up last week I did the 24 colors of kindness I took those pictures yesterday so I should have them edited and up soon I can't remember if I already have pictures of these or not Depending on if I have pictures, that makes it a little 43. Oh, that really says 73, so. Okay, I think I found another error. <laughs> As I said, you guys are my, this is my guinea pig time. All right, that's perfect. Okay. lot of pretty colors here. I also picked up, I think that there's Stabilo ones. And I thought I picked up all of them. It's like, okay, I probably should really research and not buy things sporadically. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get the Stabilo fine liners. And I bought them and I realized they have a bigger pack and I'm like, well that stinks. <laughs> oh, I right, that one. 77. So now I'm like, well, now I have to buy another pack. I have another pack. It's just randomly there. Like the Mystic Gems. I did a video on that recently too. And come to find out, I was missing two colors in there. I think I bought those in the Stabilo ones at the same time. I'm like, I should have just, what was I thinking that day when I hit that checkout button? That's how I buy most of the supplies that are like bigger. Sometimes I'm lucky I find them in stores, but most of the time you have to like figure out which is a bigger pack. Look, I got these grays right. I think I was like in the proper mindset when I was down here. And then the other ones, I was just like, uh, the other one. Three more to go. We got gray. That one's right. So I just. It was one gray that I made a mistake on. I'm just glad I didn't have to label all these. They're already labeled. You could, and not saying you couldn't, you could come through and you could put the name and the, make it so you can actually see it a little bit easier. The, uh, the number. You could do that. I'm not saying you can. I just don't want to do it. Like if if it's already there, it's there. Why should I worry? Okay. Here is our swatch chart for all of those Tri Plus fineliners. I also did it in here. Uh, which one do you like better? I like both of them because I can put this in my book. The one with the pro not really a problem, but with this one, I can't put ones every, cause you can see how right here, some of these came through on this other page. So I like to do a page in between when I do my book. I guess I could always just like glue them together, but I kind of bugs me sometimes when there's a page that's blank in between, but they do bleed through a little bit. So that would be a concern. This one they don't as much, but you can see there's a little bit where they do. So when you're writing with these, you just have to be careful. 
not care if it gets on the other side and a little shows through. But like this one right here, the clip art, you can really see. So some of them more than others bleed through like that one. It's hard to even see. So these are the Stabilo ones that I did. How do they compare? Well, of course there's more numbers in this one. So I like this, this set better because of the color selection than this one. But maybe I would like this one if I had all the colors. But hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below because I hope you guys find the coolest art supplies. And I also have another video on some Stadler. They are the marker double ender did fiber pens. And these actually come in a bigger box than 72 also. But I love these two. They're a little bit bigger. They're three millimeters and then on the other side, 0.5 to 0.8. And I wonder, cause I, that's the thing too, when I was doing these, I was like, there's no color names on these. And I actually did label them. No, I don't see like they had for these other ones, but I wonder how these compare to these ones. Like if they're the same or not. This one says R3, RB7. Oh, that's because I came up my, with my own system for labeling these. But I, what I could do is I could go back through and I could match these up and see which ones are the same. But these are only 60, these are 72, so there's a few more colors in here. But that would be great. See, that's the thing, it's like, I don't know if companies always get that, is like, if you have a small pen like this, you wanna be able to use the bigger pen too, to, like, if you want a thicker line, thin line, you wanna be able to have the same pen. So if they actually made it possible, for us to do it more intuitively, it would help out instead of having to like kind of guess. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what color is your favorite. And do you like the swatch chart in the book or do you like the swatch chart here better? And I hope you guys have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.